back to my channel. If you guys are new, my name is Lorena Aguirre and I post here on my YouTube channel every Monday and Saturday. I know it's been a long time since you guys seen me because I've been MIA. We ended up finally settling into our home. Now it's feeling like a home to me. I feel like for a while it just felt like such a money pit and it was just making me regret leaving where we were. The only thing I was happy about is that my son, he was finally able to have his own room. So I feel like for me, I was just like, oh my gosh, yes, he has his own room. Like, I'm so happy. Um, but there was just a lot of other problems that came with the home that we didn't know and that did, they did not put in the disclosure, even though they knew about. So it was just a lot of problems in that way. But now we are finally getting back to a normal life and things aren't as so crazy. So, but you guys, I am trying out the new nail trend, the French tip. I'm trying it with airbrush today. So I'm hoping that with the airbrush, we are able to get like a seamless blend and everything looks perfect. The only thing that I'm kind of concerned about doing it with the airbrush is that that French tip part, but let's go ahead and jump into today's video. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell button. It'll give you notifications every time I post a new video. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and jump in. Alright guys, so first off I'm going to go ahead and go in with my white. The white that I am using it is one that I am actually testing over the formula to see if I like it for maybe my soon to be gel polish line. So definitely stay tuned for that if that is something that you guys want to see and check out. But so first off I'm going to go ahead and do a coat of that. This is really great for self leveling and things like that. So if there is any lumps and bumps in the nail, this will kind of smooth out itself. Which that is kind of why I am liking this formula, and it is super pigmented as well. You guys could see with one coat it is covering, but definitely with me, I like to have the two coats. So I'm gonna go ahead and add another coat. After I was done with this first coat, I put it in the light for 60 seconds. Then I went ahead and applied another off camera and then put it in for another 60 seconds. Next, I am going with this Nail Central Matte Top Coat. When I'm doing airbrushing, I do like to have me a matte top coat as my base just because I do feel like sometimes it allows it not to puddle as much as if you were to do it over a gloss top coat. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put that into light for 60 seconds, and now that is done, you guys could see it's super matte and pretty. It keeps the white looking white. It didn't change the color at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start airbrushing. I like to film some of my TikToks and kind of add a little bit of things to that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this on, and I am just gonna go up and down in a line. Sometimes I kind of will do a circular motion, and I am just gonna kind of build that up and trim the nail once I feel like it is opaque enough so I'm gonna see if I like it and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in and do all the rest
All right, you guys, and now you guys can see it's coming together. It looks so cute. Um, I feel like definitely compare them to all the rest of them just to try to make more of a transitional blend. Like, I don't know, I didn't want one to seem lighter than the other, and that's why you kind of see me going back and forth, making sure that nothing is uneven or I didn't end up missing spots. So I feel like definitely kind of holding them away from each other, but honestly, even this look right here, I feel like it's really cool. So if a client did want to do this, I feel like it would look pretty neat because it's like from one side, it literally looks like it's all pink, but if you hold your nails to another angle, it looks all white, but then after it looks half and half dead on. So I don't know, honestly, I'm loving the look of it. So I can't wait to do the French tip part, but I'm also kind of nervous. But normally when I am happy with the look of something, I will end up doing a matte top coat on it just so then I don't end up messing it up because honestly that is my fear is working so hard on getting that seamless blend and just for me to mess it up so of course I wanted to kind of encapsulate it in the gel making sure I wasn't going to mess it up by putting the stickers on there and peeling them off just because I was afraid that what if the paint ended up coming off with it or if I end up scratching the nails while I'm working on them and I end up end up messing it up and it just ends up being a pain in my butt. So this way was the way that I wanted to go. I mean, I've never messed up the paint with the decals before, but I was just like, watch this be the day that I mess it up. And especially because it was so solid, I was kind of even more in fear of that. So I went ahead and put that into the light for 60 seconds and then I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna go ahead and get my stuff ready. So I've kind of just been making random decals on my Cricut, so let me know if I should put these on my shop just because I do feel like having the circle ones and things like that, I do feel like it would end up benefiting you guys quite a bit. So I went ahead and put these circles down and I want to make sure they go from sidewall to sidewall so then when I am airbrushing it doesn't end up making like kind of a funny looking French tip. So I went ahead and did this. So the only thing that I'm fearful of this is once I put them down, I kind of feel like, what if, I don't know, what if I just don't like the way it ends up coming out, but let's go ahead, let's wing it and try it out. I mean, worst case scenario, I just know better not to try it on my client. So, I mean, I'd much rather try it on myself than a client and then it end up turning out bad. So let's go ahead and see. I went ahead and added some more pink and now I'm gonna go ahead and airbrush the other side. And what you guys are going to end up seeing is that it ends up turning into like a solid, a solid um, pink. But I definitely recommend going in with a lighter color first just because I do feel like going in with a lighter color, you'll kind of be able to match more of the white better than if you were to do it the way that I just did it. So just keep that in mind if you try this out. But I'm going to go ahead and keep on filling those in until I feel like it matches the other side. If you guys are interested in the paint that I am using, I do have it in my Amazon storefront, but I am just going in with the color white, and I'm going to go ahead and do the opposite sides of the nail. It was kind of clogged, so I did end up having to go in with a little thing to poke it through, but now that I have it in there nice and put together, I'm going to go ahead and start layering that. The paints on here, honestly, I am so happy that I found them just because I did have a lot of problems with airbrush in the past. And honestly, using these paints, I do feel like honestly they made a tremendous difference. So if you guys are having problems with airbrush, definitely recommend trying out this paint. Um, I definitely prefer this over the gel and things like that. So let me know if you guys tried this paint and if you tried it, what do you guys think about it? Because I love it. This is one of my favorite paints that I use. And it does come with a variety of colors. I believe it came with like 12. And honestly, I, I feel like when I'm getting paints that are easy to mix like this, definitely having my primary colors in there are a must. So that's kind of why I ended up going with this one rather than the other ones that they had. Was because since it does have the primary colors, I am able to mix and get any desired shade that I'd like. So definitely recommend when you are looking for some, definitely get the, the primary colors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and peel off my decals and you guys could see Something I wish I would have done different is done the white a little bit more. 
pigmented and yeah but I didn't end up doing my thumb just because I wasn't really liking the way the French tip head came out but let me know in the pictures that you guys do see I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this with another matte top coat and you guys will see the finished look in just a sec Alright you guys, this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video on me trying to figure this trend out. If you guys haven't already, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll be back with more videos. Bye!